Hi and welcome to this DIY augmented reality sandbox tutorial. I'm John from arsandbox.eu and I will walk you through all the steps necessary to make your own sandbox in no time. The tutorial is divided into six parts. Hardware preparation, build, basic control, software, calibration and additional features. Links to all the videos can be found in the description below. Let's get started. You will need following parts to build the device. A PC with 64-bit Windows 10 installed, a digital projector, second generation Kinect sensor compatible with the PC, and of course materials and tools required to build the physical sandbox. Optional is a monostable push button and an Arduino board for basic control over the application. Starting with the computer, the most important is a good GPU, GTX 1050 or higher to calculate the graphics. It should be suited with a 3GHz or more CPU, SSD hard drive and some 8GB flash memory. USB 3.0 port is necessary for Kinect. Full specification can be found on our website. I strongly recommend disconnecting from the internet once you finish the required downloads and using the PC for this one task only. This way you will avoid annoying Windows updates that can cause problems with the software. Next up is the digital projector. Supposing you don't already own one, these are my suggestions. Go for a rather compact one with high brightness and low throw ratio. This parameter is defined as relation between the distance to the lens and size of the screen. The smaller the throw ratio, the bigger the picture for a given distance. As for the resolution, it is not so important. Just keep in mind it will define the shape of your sandpit. For example, a 4x3 projector will give you more of a square-shaped box. Optional is a lens shift projector. These devices are more expensive but give better results. More about that later. If you already own a projector, just make sure it has a digital input you can plug your computer to. If it has analog inputs only, check if you have corresponding output on your GPU or get an adapter and you're good to go. The sensor is a second generation Kinect for Windows. A Kinect 2 for Xbox One will do as well, but you will need an additional USB 3.0 PC adapter to connect it to your computer. These sensors are no longer produced, but you can find plenty refurbished or used ones at low prices on the internet. We will start building the physical sandbox from calculating main dimensions. There are a few requirements, most important one, respecting the sensor's resolution. Due to the Kinect's resolution, it will work best at a distance of 1 to 2 meters to the sand surface. Also, placing it higher will result in using longer cables, and that will affect the performance of the sensor. USB 3.0 cables are pretty sensitive, so avoid using ones longer than 3 meters or get a really good shielded one. Let's keep that in mind and now find the desired height to mount the projector. The simplest way to do this is by placing it on the ground and projecting a blank page on a wall. Most projectors have a test pattern option available in the menu so you can use that. Before doing this, ensure the keystone is off, as well as any other auto keystone features that can affect the picture. Zoom out and set the focus on the wall. Move the projector in the 1 to 2 meters range and observe the projected image. When you find the desired size, make sure the lens are parallel to the wall and focused, and write down these dimensions. 
image dimensions, this will be the approximate size of your sandpit, make it slightly bigger as you'll be cutting some off. Distance between the wall and the lens, this will be the height at which the projector and Kinect is placed. And the offset. Most projectors have what is called an offset. The projected image is shifted up from the horizontal plane. There are two ways to overcome this. First one is by tilting the projector outwards. It gets rid of the offset but also introduces slight keystone. Second way is using a lens shift projector. As I said before, they are more expensive but allow to parallel shift the projection vertically or in some cases horizontally and therefore get rid of the offset. Also it is possible to improve the accuracy of the simulation by mounting the two devices very close to each other. And that leads us to the next requirement. We want to mount the sensor as close to the light source as possible. Reason? It simply gives the best results. Good approach is to set the same height. This is why we only move the projector in the 1 to 2 meters range and build one housing for both Kinect and the projector. Next requirement is the centered placement of the sensor. Let's start with this. This is your sandbox in the overhead view. It has the dimensions of the screen you tested earlier. Now divide them by two. What you are left with are the coordinates of the center of your sandpit. And this is exactly where the Kinect should hang. As for the projector, it will not be mounted symmetrically like Kinect, unless the lens are in the center of the device. If that is not the case, assume the lens are the center point and use them to position the projector horizontally. As you can see in the overhead picture, I align its bottom with the sandpit's edge, so the conditions are exactly the same as when the projector was placed on the table. Make such a drawing of your setup and you'll be ready to start the build. That's it for the first part. Till next one!